I'm always kind of the sore thumb a lot of places I am, especially being a person of color and a gay person. Being in Atlanta is so nice because when you go out anywhere, you just see people that look like you and have hair like you. I always say kind of like, oh, my soul can just like rest because I feel like just belong in a space. So I really appreciate that about Atlanta and I love being here. I played for the Landry for two years. This is my third year and my sixth year in the league overall. I'm trying out for the U.S. Bay national team. It was a three-day camp, so we did two days and the last day we played. So we're like wearing the USA jersey. And so when you talk about dreams, that's like the epitome of it. Because it's emotional, so it's like no one really prepares you for the emotions when you start to reach your dreams because you just work and you grind so hard constantly to get to where you want to go. And then you get there and you're like, oh my God. Like even at camp, I was so emotional, like up and down. Not always in a bad way, but it was just like, I'm here. I, I planned my meals a ton because I was always like a skinny kid growing up. So I really, I have like my, my big strong body now kind of. And it took a lot of work, you know, preparing your meals, being ready, same way on the court, like preparing practice, be good in the game. I'm kind of like crazy about it. So I was like, okay, if we're going to do this, like I, I don't like leave the house without a snack. My wife will be like, oh, let's go. I'm like, wait, how long are we going to be gone? Like I got to grab an apple in a bar or something. <laughs> six meals a day and then we'll prep for she'll finish cooking dinner and then she'll start making lunch for like the week <laughs> it's just like i'm tired i'm gonna drink wine like i can't i cannot cook any longer i'll be making like three different recipes at the same time <laughs> like what is this like i'm making chili this is for the week this is my cleaning i'm making this for a snack my scene's definitely at home for the most part coffee shops are big time i've seen i'm a big reader my wife says I read like messed up books. I read like tragic stories. Um, I like a good story, but a lot of good narratives do come out of like tragedy and I can kind of share that in my own life and stories. So I think it's very relatable for me, like just overcoming a lot and being really resilient in your life and just knowing that people can like come out of the other side. So I am a sexual assault survivor, so I've talked openly about that. Um, and then my mom struggles with addiction. So like I've struggled with a lot of that a whole lot of my life too. I've done like a lot of work in talking about it, so I used to like cry anytime I said anything about it. But um, that's kind of how I live my life too, and being a role model, just being like really authentic and open about things. Um, I think it gives a lot of other people the freedom. It gives me freedom too to just to not sit with those things. Just being yourself and being that light is giving people, you know, the freedom to be okay. And what's so cool about this league is we are so accessible. There's not all the other sports leagues, especially professional, where you can get a chance to like meet players afterwards or we'll high five you before a game. Come to the game as I will give you a hug afterwards. <laughs> it might be a sweaty hug, but I would definitely give you a hug. <laughs>